death rate of COVID-infected dialysis patients is 75 times that of the general public. COVID-19 infected dialysis patients had a 75-fold greater death risk than the overall population, according to a recent medical study. The COVID-19 Response Task Force of the Korean Society of Nephrology KSN, studied the prognosis of dialysis patients treated with COVID-19 at 206 medical facilities between February 2020 and November 2021. Some 85 or 22.4 percent perished from COVID-19 in this group of people. According to KSN, their death rate was 75 times greater than the 0.3 percent of all patients. In the critical care unit (ICU), 64.7 percent of patients died. COVID-019 killed hemodialysis patients aged 66 on average, with majority being elderly. Fever and cough were reported by almost half of the patients, 49.5%, 25.7%. Patients who received dialysis in a nursing home were more likely to die, be sent to the ICU, or need mechanical ventilation. Comorbidities including diabetes and cardiovascular disease, an older patient population, and a high percentage of immunocompromised individuals are all to blame for these outcomes, according to KSN. COVID-19 dialysis patients in the United States and Europe have a 30% chance of mortality. COVID-19 infections are also on the rise in dialysis patients as a result of the Omicron wave. They can't treat COVID-19 at home or in community treatment centers because they have to get dialysis three times each week, which makes it hard for them to do so. They had previously been hospitalized to dialysis hospitals in the surrounding areas. However, outpatient dialysis clinics are increasingly being used to provide dialysis services. COVID-19 infected dialysis patients who get outpatient dialysis should be closely monitored by physicians and hospitalized if required, experts say. Additionally, the patient's travel routes and the surrounding surroundings must be carefully cleansed. According to KSN President Yang Chul Wu, reducing the death rate of patients with COVID-19 infection on hemodialysis is a high priority. Although the number of COVID-19 instances among dialysis patients has increased throughout the country, he observed that the medical system's preparations are inadequate. Dialysis facilities will be increased from 347 to 597 over the next decade, according to official estimates. In addition, more outpatient dialysis clinics will be built to better serve individuals who need this therapy on a regular basis.